Happy Wednesday. I just finished up with my interval run and it feels like the heat wave is finally over which is amazing. There was actually a cool breeze while I was running which was so nice. It's my partner and I's last day off together for this week so we're probably just going to hang out and relax for most of the day. It's Thursday. Uh, it's the afternoon now. I slept in for the first time in months. Um, so I didn't get out of bed until after 10 o'clock this morning. I decided not to go for a run this morning. I just felt like my body needed a bit of a break. So I didn't have any need to get up early really. Of course, I ended up having a later gym session after I had um, had my breakfast. So I didn't go to the gym until about 12.30. I did a chest and uh, arms day today, which is still a work in progress, but I'm slowly starting to enjoy it more. And I just got home not that long ago and I've had some lunch. So I had a bagel with eggs 
and I've just been eating these little double D smart sweets. They're actually quite yummy. I've got a five star health rating, 15 grams of fiber, and only 53 calories, which for somebody who's eating in a deficit, it's ideal. I've got a real sweet tooth and I need to have something sweet after every meal. <laughs> I've got a few things to do this afternoon, but first I'm going to jump in the shower and wash my hair. Does anyone else with really kind of fine hair, when it's greasy, no matter how much dry shampoo you put in it, you always just get this little bit that separates from the rest and just won't behave itself. Anyway, I need to wash it. I'm all showered, hair's washed, um, and I'm feeling nice and fresh. Um, I picked up a few things at the beginning of this week that I figured I would show you. Um, so the first few items were from uh, Muscle Republic. So the first one you've already seen, um, it was the navy blue sports bra that I wore to the gym this morning. Um, I really love it, it's really nice and simple. And then the next two pieces are short, so I am going to adjust this camera so you can see properly. So these are just a nice pair of black Muscle Republic shorts. They've kind of got this really nice little kind of crossover bit here. Kind of makes your waist look nice and slim. They're just a good length and I'm in need of a nice pair of plain black shorts. Next up is something a little more fun. Um, so these ones were actually on sale, um, which was really nice. So I got them very cheap. And they're just a little more exciting. So they're leopard print shorts. And I own nothing like this, so I'm quite excited. So these next few, um, I actually bought at an outlet surf shop on the Gold Coast. Um, just some really good basics to have in your wardrobe really. So I got this tank top here, um, so it's just a nice kind of brown nudie coloured tank top that I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of. So I got this skirt here, it's a really nice length, not too short um, which is an issue I often have with skirts and dresses because um, I'm quite tall. Um, I actually made some alterations to this one so it came with this lining underneath it that just made it feel really bumpy and misshapen so I actually unpicked it and took it out um, and now it's even more lightweight you definitely do need to wear light colored underwear underneath it um, but it's perfect for summer here because it's still quite hot today. Um, oh, 27. It's better than it was. Um, but this is just the perfect summer summer skirt for me. So I'm quite excited about that one. And I love the colour. Um, I'm definitely a cool toned um, girl uh, when it comes to clothes. So I like lots of greens and blues and a little bit of purple and pink here and there, but um, this color is perfect for me. All right, lastly, I got jandals. <laughs> um, so these are actually um, Archie's. They were actually recommended to me by a podiatrist um, that I saw for a running injury. Um, so they've got more arch support and they're just better for your feet than your standard um, jandals. So I've got a few errands to run this afternoon. Um, I've got a whole pile of washing to do. Some washing that needs folding that's been sitting there staring at me for a few days. And then I actually need to kind of fix up my CV and cover letter. And um, I'm applying for a new position within my work, so. Got that to do, very exciting.
fruit salad combo um, as an afternoon snack. Please excuse the dryer if you can hear that in the background. It's rather loud. So I'm going to use the YoPro Perform Protein. Uh, so it's got 20 grams of protein and it's a mango passion fruit flavour. So I'd normally do like 140-ish grams of this. And then a bunch of grapes because they are a lot cheaper at the moment. Some strawberries. I'm really trying to focus on getting my protein from more natural sources and not necessarily from like protein powder, hence the yogurt. These um, blackberries, I never ever get to have them because they're always so expensive and I'm not willing to pay like $8 for a tiny little punnet, but they were $2, which was a lot better, it's still expensive, but doable. Saturday. I am just out on my long run this morning and I somehow managed to get stuck in the middle of a park run. Like I went around the corner and next thing you know I'm running with 50 plus people. It's quite fun but I went a little fast for a long run and now I've got to finish the rest. So now the afternoon, I've spent the morning just relaxing, really, not doing anything too exciting after my run. Um, and now I've just jumped back into bed and I am going to nap for a few hours uh, before I get up and get ready for night shift tonight. So I'm working night shift Saturday and Sunday night this week. So I figured I would show you the kind of food that I eat when I'm on night shift. So it's always difficult for me because on night shift, generally I feel sort of unwell um, and I don't really feel like eating anything that's actually good for you. <laughs> so generally on night shift, I just feel like eating sugar. Anything with really with protein in it, I generally struggle with. So especially after midnight, trying to tolerate a full meal was just not going to happen for me. 
um, but I do have to eat or I feel worse if I don't. This is pretty typical for the kind of thing I would pack for a night shift. So first up, I have a leftover chicken stroganoff in this container here. It's just a small portion. I'll have this on my first kind of break of the night, which is normally around 9, 10 o'clock-ish, and I find that I can stomach the chicken and the rice and the vegetables that are in this at that time. For the rest of the night, these are my little snacks to help get me through. So I've got some yogurt with some fruit in here. Yogurt is one of the few high protein items that I can tolerate eating in the middle of the night. So this works out well for me and I quite enjoy it. I've got some shapes in here, just because I like to have something a little bit crunchy to snack on. And a little mini bag of lollies. Um, so for a long time on night shift, I was just eating tons and tons of lollies every single night um, to help get me through. However, that does make you feel pretty shit <laughs> and it doesn't help you reach your goal. So I still give myself a little bit, but just in moderation. All right, and I've got my lunchbox here. This is a new one that I've just picked up recently, so I'm quite excited about it. It all just packs away quite nicely like that. And I'm all set. It's now five o'clock in the evening on Sunday. I've just woken up after sleeping all day and I'm getting ready to go back to work and do it all over again. I figured I would sign off here and say thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. If you enjoyed watching this video, please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps my little channel to grow. I'll see you next week.